Hi, AT from CNC at Home. On a previous video, we made a MASH coaster. And to get the word MASH, I ended up taking it from this image from one of the early seasons of the show. The wording up here looked good, and I wanted to be able to use that. The rest of the image is kind of pixelated, a little bit too low of resolution for what I wanted to do. I wanted to point out a few ways that I did this and kind of talk about some basic functionality within Lightburn. What I had wanted to do was take this image and convert it to a vector drawing. Lightburn has a very convenient feature for that. By right clicking on the image, there's this option down here called Trace Image. What that's going to do is it's going to look for edges within the image and try to convert those to lines and arcs or vectors. This is the default conversion and what we can do is we can come down here, some of the options, we can fade the image so that shows us more of the tracing and less of the image itself. We can also turn that back off. We can show points so if we zoom in on Colonel Blake here, we'll fade the image as well so those stick out. You can see the different intersections as it was tracing around. That can come, both of these features can come in handy as you're doing your trace. Another option that's available within our trace is to select an area that we want to trace. On my last video, I'd kind of forgotten about this. I typically trace an entire image and then clean it up afterwards. What I can do is just simply click and drag the my mouse around, create a rectangle around the word mash, and then that will be the only area that it's going to trace. So all of the stuff down here where the people are is ignoring. There is an option down here called Clear Boundary. So if I didn't draw the rectangle the way I wanted, I can certainly get rid of that. The nice thing about doing it this way is there's, there's no cleanup after the words, getting all the artifacts and whatnot taken care of. I do have this option turned on, Delete Image After Trace. What that allows me to do is click OK, and then all I end up with is the the vector part that it traced. The image is now gone. If you need the image, you can just turn that off. So this is kind of a slick way just to get that one piece that I need. If I do a trace where it's grabbing everything, I do end up with a bunch of artifacts or things that I don't want. When this comes in, everything is grouped together. So the first thing to do is ungroup them. That will allow me to pick individual items to, to move, delete, whatever. When you're selecting things within Lightburn, there's a difference between clicking and dragging to your right. You notice nothing was selected. Or clicking and dragging to your left. You'll see that that entire rectangle, there's actually two rectangles there, both of those were selected. When you drag towards the right, anything that is completely within your rectangle will be selected. When you drag to the left, anything that's partially in your rectangle will also be selected. That's important to keep in mind when selecting. Many times I will just do a little select from the left and get a bunch of stuff. In our case, we have quite a bit that we need to select, so I'm going to go ahead and grab from the right, move to the left, and that should select everything that I don't want, and I can simply press Delete. If there's more than one thing in the image that you want to do an edge trace on, you can do them individually. So I can select the word MASH. I'm going to turn off my delete image and click OK. 
then I can right click on my image again, go back into trace, and maybe I want to get this text down here. So I can draw a rectangle around that and click OK. It's a little difficult to see, but if I turn off the image, we can see that I have those two sections now. I'll turn that to fill so they stand out a little bit better. And I can, st I can continue to do that. I can go in and select my image and do more tracing. On this particular image, I'm not sure what actually would come in well. The people's faces uh, typically with images just aren't going to come in really well. Once you've gotten everything you need, then you can just click the image and press delete to get rid of that. And as you can see, we have our two chunks of stuff. I could take these two sections and I could group them together as well. So now if I select any part of it, I get both of those. Move that around, do whatever I want with it. If I'm going to use this mash thing several times, it would be beneficial to have that saved either as a project or as an SVG, which is a vector format. I can do that by going up to File, and I can do an Export, and my options are SVG, DXF, and AI. I found that the SVG works fairly well within Lightburn. I'll go ahead and just call it MASH, and save it. Now that's available anytime I want to use it. If I start a new project, I can just come over and do an import. If I want to see just SVC or just my vector files, I can switch to that. And here's my MASH SVG. I double click on that and it brings it in. Now that I have that saved as an SVG, I can add it to my art library. I've created a logos art library, and I can then do an import and bring that in. Now I have my MASH logo sitting in here, and it's called MASH. I hope you find these tips and hints useful while using Lightburn. If you enjoyed this video, think about giving it a thumbs up. If you enjoy the content of our channel, think about subscribing. It really helps us out. Enjoy doing your CNC at Home projects. Mm -hmm.